Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations uh, to the King Mohammed VI on the anniversary of the Moroccan King and People's Revolution, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty the King praised the constantly growing bilateral ties between the two brotherly countries and people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 29 of the year 2018, restructuring the Academic Accreditation Board chaired by the Assistant Secretary General for Evaluation and Accreditation at the Education Ministry and the following membership. The Chairman of Engineering Professions Practice Regulatory Council. The Director of Scientific Research Department Education Ministry. The Director of Evaluation and Follow-up Department, the Education Ministry. The Director of Accreditation and Licensing Department, the Education Ministry. The Legal Advisor of the Education Minister's Office. A representative of the National Health Regulatory Authority. A representative of the University of Bahrain. A representative of Bahrain Polytechnic. A representative of the Arabian Gulf University a representative for Bahrain's Education and Training Quality Authority. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 30 of the year 2018, transferring and appointing directors in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The Director of Industrial Areas Development, Khalid Salman Mohammed Al Qasimi, has been transferred as Director of Industrial Development in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. And Ahmed Yusuf Ahmed Taqi has been appointed as Director of Industrial Areas Development. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations uh, to the King Mohammed VI over the anniversary of the Moroccan King and the People's Revolution, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, also sent a similar congratulatory cable to Morocco's Prime Minister Saad al-Din Uthmani. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Ghadibiya Palace a number of senior officials in the kingdom, as well as journalists, media personnel, intellectuals, and citizens. His Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain on the advent of Eid al Adha, hailing the national cohesion, communal harmony, and coexistence in the Bahraini society. He stressed the importance of continuing the follow up of citizens' interests and continuous communication with them to ensure them achieving their ambitions and aspirations. His Royal Highness hailed Saudi Arabia's efforts to serve Islam and Muslims and to support pilgrims, affirming that the kingdom, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, exerts efforts to defend Arabism and legitimacy and to restore hope in countries suffering from outside interference. His Royal Highness reviewed with the guests a number of local affair topics, affirming that the clear directives to all ministers and officials in the government to welcome citizens and fulfill their needs in their duty. His Royal Highness commended the role of national journalism and uh, colonism in the highlighting or in highlighting national achievements and gains and the efforts exerted to preserve the kingdom's achievements, stressing the necessity for national media to support development efforts and plans and to be based on promoting the kingdom's achievements in light of economic challenges that hinder development. His Royal Highness expressed a compassion with India following the floods in Kerala that left many victims injured.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa ordered the Higher Education Council and its Academic Accreditation Committees to verify the information raised regarding certificates awarded by fake or unaccredited universities from outside Bahrain and to ensure that none of those who have such certificates qualify for jobs or acquire higher positions in their jobs and to cooperate with the relevant authorities in this regard. His Royal Highness directed to continue developing the administrative and technical systems enforcing in force regarding the reliability of certificates and the review and periodic revision. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI on the anniversary of the Moroccan King and People's Revolution, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the Royal Guard Commander, Brigadier General, His Highness, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, at Rafah Palace. The Royal Guard Commander introduced Lieutenant Abdullah Sayyid Atiyah to mark the Lieutenant's recent graduation from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom. Lieutenant Atiyah is the only officer in the history of the Royal Military College to receive the Sword of Honor Award, the Military and Academic Excellence Award and the Award for Sports Excellence, representing an unprecedented achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted Lieutenant Atiyah's success as an example of one of the many achievements of Bahrain citizens on the international and regional level. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated Lieutenant Atiyah on his graduation from Sandhurst and on achieving the rank of merit. His Royal Highness acknowledged Lieutenant Atiyah's dedication during his time at Sandhurst and expressed his wish that Lieutenant Atiyah would continue to achieve further success with the Bahrain Defense Force. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the programs and training capabilities offered by the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and the high levels of skill and competence displayed by its graduates. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated today the Hajj exhibition organized by the government in cooperation with the Bahrain Society for Women Development at Oasis Mall in Rafah. His Highness says Sheikh Khalifa affirmed the government's keenness on holding religious and cultural activities for all ages, stressing the importance of scientific and cognitive benefit that the government seeks to provide through its activities. He praised the organization of the exhibition which offered explanations of Hajj rights highlighted the importance of the exhibition in strengthening religious values among children. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to develop government services, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inspected the Communications Center of the Electricity and Water Authority, EWA. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the center's staff for the development measures they have taken and the record achievements they have made. The Minister stated that EWA is always keen on developing its services for the interests of the citizens and it also aims to facilitate facilitate conducting services.